Hi, my name is Jin Ho King, and I'm a senior solutions engineer for ArcGIS Indoors at Esri. In this ArcGIS Indoors demonstration, we'll be looking at publishing web maps and 3D scenes and configuring Indoor Viewer app. The Indoor Viewer app allows you to find a location or resource within a building or a site that includes several buildings. From the Viewer app, you can view detailed features, a route between features, book meeting rooms or office hotels, call or email occupants, and launch apps such as ArcGIS Survey123 to log issues or configure work orders. This video will focus on setting a basic 2D web map and 3D web scene to start the Indoor Viewer app in ArcGIS Online. Keep in mind that the 2D web map is required to run the Indoor Viewer, and the 3D web scene is optional. In ArcGIS Pro, create a map with indoor data to conform to the ArcGIS Indoors database. On Indoor Dataset, create it using tools available with the ArcGIS Indoors license provides a well-defined schema for loading and maintaining floor plan data in an indoor GIS. It is not required, but highly recommended as the data have all the required attribute fields. If you're looking for georeferencing and loading CAD data to the indoor database, or configuring floor over a map or setting categories, please search for the other indoor demonstration videos. This demonstration assumes that the indoor data are appropriately configured as a floor over a map and set all categories you'd like to display in the Explorer tab. Once the map has been configured with proper floor aware settings, point of interest categories, pop-ups, and map display settings, it's ready to be shared as the web map. Lastly, turn off the floor aware widget before sharing. From the Share tab in Share as Groups, click the web map. Provide name, summary, and tags for the indoor map. Because this will be only used for viewing purposes, I'll leave the Copy All Data Exploratory option for the configuring selection. Select the ArcGIS Online folder where all the map will reside. Leaving blank will upload to the default content folder. Put a check sign next to who can access and interact with the web map. For this case, I'll share the web map with my ArcGIS Online group members only. Analyze the web map to make sure there are no issues, and then share the web map. As for the 3D web scene, the layers in the 3D scene must match a corresponding 2D layer in the web map. Copy all the feature layers from the 2D map to the new scene view. Turn off the World Elevation 3D Terrain 3D Surface. Go to the Map Properties for the scene, and then set the Indoor Layer tab values to configure the scene as a floor over scene. The other requirement is to transform Details layer to 3D lines and Units layer to 3D multi-patch features. Create a feature dataset named indoor underscore 3D in your indoors database. It should have the same horizontal and vertical spatial reference as the existing indoors feature dataset. For units feature layer, go to layer properties and set the elevation values. Because this feature layer has relative height attribute values for each record, I'm setting the features at an absolute height and using the relative elevation for a field. For the details layer, I am setting the same values for its layer elevation tab properties. In addition to elevation, I am extruding the details from the type tool in the extrusions group in the appearance tab. I'm using the minimum height with meter units and set the expression with numeric value 1. In the scene, the detail layer is extruded to give a wall-like visual. I can further detail the display by setting different colors for the doors and separate them from the wall color. After the display settings are complete, use the Layer 3D to Feature Class tool to convert both details and units layers and save them under the Indoors underscore 3D feature dataset. Name them Details 3D and Units 3D respectively. After the Details 3D and Units 3D multi-patch layers are displayed in the scene, remove the 2D layer of units and details. 
and rename the 3D multi-patch layers to details and units. Check other layers' elevation and floor properties, and verify everything displays correctly in the scene view. For the final step, disable the floor aware filter bar and click the web scene tool from the share tab inside the share as groups. Provide the name, summary, and tags, and verify where the scene layers will reside inside the ArcGIS Online folder. Share the web scene with an appropriate audience. Run the Analyze tool and verify any errors and warnings, and then share. In ArcGIS Online, open the overview page of the indoor web map published from ArcGIS Pro. Under the Create Web App menu, select Configurable Apps. The Indoor Viewer app can be found under the Route Get Directions App tab. Select the Indoor Viewer and create a web app. Specify the title, tags, summary, and click Done, and the Indoor Viewer and Configure tab appear. The web map is already loaded in as a default, and it needs to specify the web scene. Click Add in the Web Scene tab and select the web scene you published from the ArcGIS Pro. Save and close the Configure panel, and now you have the working indoor map that you can toggle between the 2D web map and the 3D web scene of the campus. This concludes the publishing web map and 3D scene and configuring indoor web app demonstrations. Thank you for watching.